what's going on everybody it's Brian with you from the game common and today we are doing some more AI battles as promised so with our Rome series kind of literally grinding to a hold if you missed our live stream last night we actually had I think everyone in the game declare war on us except Georgia uh, so I decided to do something new and I wanted something quick and easy before the spring update came out uh, which was gonna change a couple things and so uh, I decided to do an AI series so I think this one we're gonna do a little different I don't think I want as many civilizations because I don't want it to go super slow I also don't want a super large map because I really want to just watch some AI compete against each other to see who is the strongest so we are playing on the six armed snowflake map which essentially forces everyone towards the center and uh, hopefully then is gonna force everyone into conflict with each other to help aid that we have also decided to grab the six well at least in my opinion probably the six most aggressive AI we got Chandra Gupta we got Genghis Khan, we got Gorgo, we got Shirajin, we got Tomneris, and we got Alexander. And the hope is that they're all going to try conquering each other and we're going to have a brutal, wonderful bloodbath. Uh, I have also done uh, turned on a couple mods. We have 8 Ages of Pace, which whatever, it's the AI. I don't care if it's going to screw them over like it screwed me over. We also enabled 8 Ages of War, which is supposedly going to balance out warfare a little bit. I also turned on the Steel and Thunder... Is that the mod? Steel and Thunder? I think that's what it's called. Uh, but anyways, it gives everyone more unique units. And I think that's the only mods I used. Uh, and then obviously I have the mod that auto plays. So we're going to start the game. And um, yeah, I guess I'll pop back in as soon as uh, Sean Bean is done. So Okay, so the hope is uh, Chandra Gupta isn't going to be too terrible this game. Because I feel like every time we do an AI series, whoever we're playing as tends to get their butt kicked. So I don't know if there's maybe something in the mod that basically limits the AI you're playing as. Or they just don't quite get it. Uh, I, I, or they just don't play as well. I'm not entirely sure. So we'll see. We'll see. Uh... H that was that what was turning off the camera auto camera I okay I was like T no it's not T okay so we immediately have barbarians right next to our border looks like we're probably gonna have barbarians next to everyone's border right so yeah yeah pretty much everyone starts with the barbarians right in the same place actually so Rome already has slingers actually it looks like everyone has slingers uh what difficulty were we playing as you know, I didn't look at that. I'm assuming we're probably playing on, what, the uh, Prince difficulty, which is default. Uh, the other thing I like about this map is all the city-states get put on these little islands, which is nice because the AI is a little less likely, I think, to go conquer them, so they're not going to get an advantage for killing the AI. We also have the Glop... Blah, I can't talk today, man. Galapagos Islands oh, uh, off the coast here. So any city that goes up there is going to get them a huge science boost. Also, holy crap with this middle, man. Double freaking oil, double uh, uh, aluminum, uh, double uranium, double coal. <laughs> okay, so you definitely want to be in the center by the end of the game. Is there oil anywhere else? Yeah, there's oil off the coast. And there is a little bit of iron. Yeah, so it's like everyone has one source of iron. I don't think any... Nope, two. No, wait, that's iron. Sorry, steel. No. Coal, coal, dirt. They're all dark. But no one has uranium, so the only uranium is actually in the center. Interesting. I do like this rather uh, balanced start. So uh, we do not have a second settler up yet that I can see. No, so I don't see any second settlers. We did turn on all of the wind conditions. I don't really know which wind condition will come first. Probably once again score. You know, I should have actually reduced the amount of turns. That would have been better. Yeah, that would have been better. But we only have six people, so hopefully 500 turns isn't going to take that long. And the thing is, it's always like super... Um, uh, 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 like you, you watch this first episode and you're like, oh, that's not going to take long at all because we went through like 100 turns. But it's like every turn just exponentially gets harder and harder and harder. So who hasn't killed their barbarians? Rome has not killed their barbarians and is in fact under an invasion. It looks like India has their second city. They, however, uh, did take out the first barbarian encampment, but they have another one to deal with. Uh, Sparta, uh, Gorgo is under invasion from barbarians as well, and she actually has a second one nearby. Uh, uh, Scythia, duh, it seems like they knocked out their barbarian encampment, and, uh, they're pretty much in the same place as India right now. Mongolia also, uh, well, they killed off all the barbarians, but they hadn't taken the encampment yet. And then Alexander is over here trying to plant down his city, uh, but he did not take out the barbarian encampment. Is this river the same with everyone? Yeah, it looks like, yeah, it looks like the map is 
pretty much perpendicular. Uh, so this is like a great online map, but you know, we're not playing online. So let's see, um, you still only have two cities. Does everyone actually have two cities at this point? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, Alexander, very, very, very aggressive with the second city plant. The thing about it is it's not really particularly great. Like what's over here? I mean, you got dyes, but you have a bunch of tundra. I, I mean, I guess he really wants the niter. <laughs> but he doesn't know the knight is there yet. So I would feel like, I don't know. I, but then again, he does have a uh, potential to get a bigger city because of the freshwater, where everyone else's second city doesn't have the freshwater bonus. Now, Rome never got their second city down. They don't even have... No, they didn't even build a, uh, a, a settler. It looks like they've just been building units to deal with the invasion that's going on. Um, India... I almost want to say they're under invasion, but I think they're going to be okay. Gorgo's in a great place. So far, it looks like Gorgo's maybe in the best place. Although, I say that Scythia is about to throw down city number three. Mongolia is also in a pretty strong position, but they don't have their third settler up. Uh, Alexander is also in a particularly good situation, too. So, really, it looks like Rome is the one that's just lagging behind at this point. Come on, Rome, get it together. Jeez. Always freaking being declared on and fighting on all sides because everyone's trying to kill you i mean come on it's not like i know anything about that india finished the wonder yeah i should i need to actually pay attention to to the the, the part prompts so hey go india you finished stonehenge cool okay nice 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 now your unit is gonna die because you're completely surrounded <laughs> so good job on losing your warrior but hey at least you found the barbarian encampment Unfortunately for them, the Slingers are right on their border. Uh, Rome did finally push out the Barbarian encampment, the Barbarians. Uh, they still, however, do not have a second city down. Uh, and let's see, we have three cities now for Alexander. We have two cities still. Uh, and then we have four cities for Scythia. Woo, snap. Okay, okay. Uh, do they have horses? I don't know where that woo came from either. That was a little weird. I'm going to try not doing that one again. Uh, I don't see anyone having horses. That could be interesting. I It doesn't affect Scythia because they don't need horses to build their unique unit, but still. We're not going to see too many horses, I guess, in this game. Um, we will still be able to see knights because those use iron, not horses, which is kind of hilarious, but sure, sure, sure. Man, India, what happened, dude? What happened? You still have your troops. Why are they just hanging there while you're letting all these troops invade your territory? Come on. Come on. Uh, Sparta, Gorgo's actually popping out her hoplites. They're hoplites, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I, was, I was like, I, I'm pretty sure they're hoplites. They should be hoplites. Uh, you seem to be doing okay over here. Yeah, I think Scythia is in an absolute great spot down here. We're moving really quickly. I am very... I like doing only six players. <laughs> the game moves so much more quick. Uh, Alexander does have Barbarians, uh, a Slinger. Ah, he should be okay. He does have enough units, but still, man. That could be a little interesting. Rome is throwing down a second city. Everyone, give them all a round of applause. They are they're maybe 50 turns behind, but they're getting there. They're getting... Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. India. <laughs> uh, this might be the first time we've seen an AI actually get knocked, knocked out by barbarians. They're th freaking bringing swordsmen to bear. Oh, God. Oh, run away, India. Run away. Maybe if you peace uh, with Sparta, Sparta is going to, you know, uh, maybe come help kill your troops or kill their troops, kill the barbarians. Is it shift A? It's ah, it's shift A. Okay. Actually, there's quite a bit of uranium in the center. Never mind. Okay, so we have only met Mongolia. Excuse me, hiccups. So this is going to be a little hard to see. Gongus is actually... Wait, how have we only met... Gung he must have sent a scout up. That must be why. Yeah, our scout must have died. So Genghis is in the lead. Uh, India is actually in third, but not uh, not by much. And then you have a large gap here. Specifically, down there with Rome, I'm assuming, is at 62. As for the actual overall victory, science, science, um, doesn't look to be a whole lot of difference here. 7.7 .7 versus 8.2. Culture, 10 versus... I hate how these don't appear on the thing. There we go. Versus 6.7. Then 108, 
uh no sorry 30 military strength versus 349 so i guess we really can't see much of anything because india hasn't explored that much gosh they might actually lose their cities no joke do they go to free cities i don't think i have ever seen a barbarian actually destroy a city which is funny <laughs> Ah, uh, I don't know. It's going to be close, India. It's going to be close. Also, they should have met Gorgo by now because you have a galley like right there. Uh, Gorgo is working on the temple. Or sorry, Hanging Gardens. Actually, it looks like the Temple of Artemis. Actually, my first thought was it was the Great Library, but that was way, we're way too early for that. Um, Scythia is doing pretty dang good over here. Uh, we just lost all the city names. Okay. Yeah, we just lost all of all oh also all of the units. Now no, we just lost all the things above their head. Let us stop to autoplay, see if they come back. No. No. Cool, we got a graphical bug. Alright, so I'm gonna have to, I guess, quick save the game, and then we're just gonna reload into it. Uh, and hopefully that's going to fix what's going on here. So uh, we'll be back in half a second. All right, let's get back in here. Hopefully, yep, yep, there we go, there we go. Uh, I've had that happen before, and I've actually had some of you say that you prefer it. The problem is it's really hard to make commentary if you can't really tell what's what. And specifically, it's hard to tell like who's uh, what unit is whose. Um, just because, I mean, you have a little color de deviation between the guys, um, but it's still pretty difficult to tell. Um, and once again, obviously, we can tell, wait, Scythia's over here, yeah. Yeah, sure. Uh, but then when you get down here to like the barbarians, it's like, wait, which is a barbarian, which isn't? Oh my gosh. <laughs> India, what? Oh man. Why are you moving your archer out of the city? Why would you move your archer out of the city where you're perfectly protected? So now you're completely surrounded by two swordsmen. Oh, okay, so India is gonna lose here to barbarians. Good job. <laughs> uh, great. Now, unfortunately, that's probably going to break the game for us. Uh, oh, gosh. Alexander ended up losing the Settler. I think that came from Alexander. Maybe that came from somewhere else, and they're bringing him down. Uh, we have a lot of chariots over here, heavy chariots for Mongolia. I don't know what you're planning on doing with that. It almost looks like they're planning an invasion. Uh, are they invading non-model? Maybe? I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, how's Panta doing? Patna. Still at full HP, so... However, they're just taking everything they're getting. They burned like almost everything to the ground. Why are you bringing it, building a spearman? Why in God's name would you build a spearman? What does that spearman fight against? Who does it kill? No one. Build a freaking arch. Why are you moving it out of your freaking land? Oh my gosh, I'm mad. I'm mad. Part of me wants to take over India and just freaking stabilize them at this point. Oh, yeah, this makes me a little mad. Oh, snap. Alexander and Rome are currently at war. Rome with a very aggressive forward city, which Alexander is currently trying to punish. Unfortunately for Alexander, he's also currently being punished by the AI as well. The barbarians, rather. Um, Yeah, these we have some freaking aggressive barbarians in this game right now. I wonder if maybe the Eight Ages of War is changing this up. Like, maybe these swordsmen are a lot better than they should be. Like, his Varu just got owned. But then again, swordsmen are pretty far uh, down the tech tree. Like, let's compare Varu. How the heck do the barbarians have swordsmen at this point? I don't understand that. Uh, but they have a 40 melee strength. Swordsmen have a 36 melee strength. So, yeah, the, the Varu is not that much more powerful than... Uh, than the swordsman he's currently facing. I'm a little more confused at why there were swordsmen this early in the game. What what tech are we actually at? I mean, look at this. India is still freaking not. Pfft. They haven't even researched it yet. You got you guys see this right? He built a Varu. He built a Varu. We all saw his Varu. His Varu died. How did he build a Varu? So apparently the AI also gets to cheat and build units that it doesn't have the technology for? 
All right, well, that's kind of annoying. Um, okay, let's see, how is everyone doing? Score-wise, I'm assuming we're falling. Yeah, ooh, Rome's actually catching up. So Gorgo's now in first place. Genghis has fallen all the way to third place. As for science victory, once again, man, Genghis has fallen. Uh, culture victory, Genghis is now in second. So I wonder what happened. Why is Genghis falling behind? Let's go ahead and automate again. Control, no, shift A. I hit it, I hit it like four times. Maybe because he only has two cities right now. Uh, and instead, spent all this time building a bunch of units, quite frankly. Ah, he's at war with Scythia. That's what happened. Okay, so we have two different wars going on right now. We have Genghis Khan versus Scythia. And then we have Alexander versus Rome. I think Rome's going to be fine. Why, game? Why? All right, well, we're going to leave it like this for a few seconds because I don't really want to reload. Um, but I think Rome's going to be able to push out, and they should be okay. Uh, Scythia is a little more um, scary. They do have a few units here, but Mongolia has a ton of units left, and this city was pretty close to flipping. How goes the Barbarian Invasion? No, I can't do it. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. I can't. We're going to have to reload again. The downside, too, is, like, if I turn it off, um, I don't want to, and I've done this in the past, where I'll go in here and use the console and reveal all. The downside with this, actually, you know what? Hey, let's quick save real quick. We can do it now because we're just going to reveal uh, reveal all. Maybe it's just because it's not caps. Reveal. Or is it space? It's space. Uh, the problem with this is basically we just gave a bunch of air score boosts. Oh, and everything disappeared again. All right. Well, never mind. We're going to reload the game and I'll be back in one second. I'm now remembering why we stopped doing the AI series simply because of how freaking buggy uh, the game gets sometimes. So uh, let's turn off the auto camera. So yeah, man, you're in a bad spot. You're in a bad spot. Uh, okay. You actually are holding a uh, true there. I figured that the city was actually going to be at slightly lower HP, but no, you seem to be okay. Um, and actually I feel like Mongolia is running out of steam mostly because they didn't bring their units up. So most likely Seven Brothers is going to hold uh, for Scythia. Yeah, they have enough units there to handle it. Uh, Rome also did um, win that war. Alexandria, uh, Alexander rather, did end up killing all the barbarians, but he's got a lot of farms to rebuild. So actually Rome is silently making a comeback. India, yeah, sorry. Uh, Gorgo is definitely, I think, in the best position right now because they have probably the largest army simply because they've not been at war with anyone yet. Uh, they've also handled their barbarians, so um, they've not lost any units that way. And they basically have a bunch of cities, so two, four, five cities, and they're all in pretty decent spots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Scythia's at seven, dang. Mongolia is only at two, geez. Alexander's at three, Rome is at four, and yeah, India's at two. So I definitely feel if I had to make a prediction right now, it would be Gorgo. But I really feel like Rome has potential here. Uh, Rome's units, their legion should be more powerful than any of the other units. If I remember correctly, because their units are slightly later game. They should definitely be stronger than the Hoplites. The Varus might be more powerful, but India's kind of uh, right now. Uh, Mongolia, actually. Uh, Mongolia probably has the strongest units, but they're pretty far behind right now, too, because they don't even have a third city down. So, yeah, yeah, I really feel like long-term Rome might pull this out, even though they had such a terrible start. Uh, India uh, only has one Barbarian inside their territory now, so they got that going for them. <laughs> uh, please, just go kill this encampment. That's going to be your only hope at this point. The funny thing... Oh, freaking heck. Yeah, yeah, that's not going well. It actually also looks like uh, Mongolia is going a little hard with uh, religion. Eastern Orthodoxy. Uh, let's see. So you... Uh, Rome does not have a religion. Alexander does not have a re religion. Uh, Scythia does have a religion. And Gorgo has a religion. Uh, India has a religion as well, so... In a six-player game, everyone should be able to get a religion. Everyone that goes for it, at least. So, wow. Wow, Scythia with the extreme uh, city. Okay. This is going to be the key city. How do you say it? Kostromatskaya? Kostromatskaya, I guess. Uh, Gorgo also pretty aggressive on their city, but... Ooh, snap. She's trying to put another one down, but unfortunately, she got blocked by the barbarians that are still invading India. The Indian barbarians. Um, 
if she could go over here, she could actually take some of India's land, which is probably pretty beneficial. Same thing with Gorgo. Gorgo might be able to come down here and take some of Mongolia and or Alexander's land because neither of them have grabbed their stuff. The other location, we don't have the close mod on. So someone could put a city down over here on the river, which would be pretty strong. There's only one, two, three, four. Wait, one, two. There's only four rivers in the center instead of six. So uh, it's a little imbalanced. Now, the question is, is Greece going to move their settler? I don't know. Also, Kumasi is pretty aggressively moving their troops onto land. I don't know why. Hey, India, good job. You finally got rid of the barbarians in your territory, at least the encampments. Uh, that sounded like a war. And it really looks like Gorgo is about to move on someone. She's moving a lot of her troops forward. Mongolia is still sitting with two. Didn't they have another settler? I thought they had another settler. Did Alexander ever take this one back? No. So he's still sent with three. Rome, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Rome's up to seven now. Gorgo, one, two, three, four, five, six. Gorgo's at six. And they are going for the aggressive push over here uh, against India. Now, the bright side of India is now you have Gorgo here to take care of your troops. So, all right. I think uh, Gorgo is actually going to come declare war. It appears on Scythia. Um, Kashtarmaskaya is actually wide open for the taking right now if she moves in. Oh, she's throwing down another city. Oh, snap. That's number eight. Uh, Scythia, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, Mongolia declared war on Greece. India declared war on Greece. Okay. Okay. Now, unfortunately, that I think is a score based war because uh, India mu or uh, Greece must be leading in the score category because neither of them have troops or are in a position to actually really fight with Greece. Uh, so that's not going to be a war that's probably where anything's going to happen. India still hasn't met hardly anyone because they got their butt kicked. Uh, Gorgo is leading, but not by as much as you would think. I actually think this is probably Scythia, and I think this is Rome. I think Rome has made a strong comeback. Who would be in last place then? This must be Alexander. Yeah. Which is kind of surprising that Alexander's so far down, because he actually has a lot more cities uh, than uh, us as India, because we still only have the two. I guess maybe because of city size? Maybe because of the units? What Can we see the details for the unmet? We can. Empire size? They're significantly bigger. Uh, civics were leading. Great people is the same. We have religion, they don't. Ah, so basically it's because uh, India has a religion. Interesting. Not that really... <laughs> the, uh, 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 being not last by four points when the leader is like 130 above you. Yeah, not really something to be too excited about. Also, I love the architecture. It looks so cool. So science victory right now. Genghis is in last. Uh, Chandragupta is second to last. Uh, Gorgo is in third. Um... I don't know who would be in first. That's a good question. And yeah. All right. So with that, I think we're going to wrap up the first episode. So since it's a new series, any support you guys can give it does wonders. Go ahead, hit the like button, comment, and let me know what you guys think. Let me know who you guys think is going to win. And as always, hit the subscribe button, join the game, comment, and show your support. I will see you guys next time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. So not only do you have no freaking units right now, but you're losing. You're losing money per turn. So uh, if I were you, I'd probably put a Varu out here just so no barbarian encampment would spawn because that would be pretty detrimental. But anyways, I'll see you guys later.